Friends, are you ready for writing? All right, please make sure you have your writer notebook out. Turn to the very next page. You're gonna get your name and the date on it and your line. So name, the date is 3-8-21. It is It is March 8th, 2021. So that's gonna be your date. You need your line, put it right by that hole. It makes it pretty easy and follow right on that line. And we are going to continue talking about weather today. All right, if you're not ready, pause the video. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Before we draw and write our sentence, we're gonna talk a couple minutes about the weather and Today we read a big book about a rainy day and the things you can do during a rainy day and the things that um, you can protect yourself with. So first of all, we're gonna, I'm gonna say, what does the weather feel like? And you're gonna guess, what are the skies looking like on that day? All right. So I'm gonna start with the easiest one. It's very, very cold. What might the skies look like when it's very, very cold? It could be snowing, right? We know that it can be cold and not snowy, but for me, if it's going to be very, very cold, I want snow because then at least it's pretty, right? All right. If it's cold but not really cold, what could the sky be like? Okay. It might be like our book. It might be rainy. So even in the summer when it rains, it's kind of chilly. It just ooh, kind of makes you feel chilled. How about if it's hot? What might the skies look like? Think of summertime, okay? It might rain, but it might also be really sunny. And I think everybody likes sunny days, even in the winter. And how about if it's warm, but it's not hot? What might the sky look like? It might look sunny, and it might look cloudy. It could be either one, or like we say, partly sunny or partly cloudy. So what we're gonna do today for our writing is we are going to think about rain, because that's what our book was about. And we're gonna think of something that we would use to protect ourselves if we were out in the rain. So, I want you to think about maybe you're going to school and it's raining, or maybe mom or daddy or grandma are letting you play in the rain, because we saw that that is a fun thing to do. What is something you could do to protect yourself in the rain? So I want you to think of that, share it out with somebody at home, or your teachers might decide to pause the video and have you think and share. And I want you to get in your head, what's, some, what's one thing you could do you could wear or use when it's raining to protect yourself. And then I'm gonna share mine. Okay, so I was thinking of when I was your age and I would be playing outside. And one of the things, I can't really remember, but I'm gonna pretend that I remember. 
One of the things that I probably had, but I'm not sure, is a pair of rain boots. Now, I'm going to do two things, but I'm only going to write one, okay? The other thing that I'm pretty sure I had was a raincoat. So, I am going to make a picture of me and my brother. I'm going to add my brother because he was usually out playing with me. Playing in a puddle. So I know in my head that that's what I'm going to draw, but I would like to write my sentence first so I make sure that my words are going to match my picture. So I am going to give you most of the words for your sentence, but you already know a couple of them. So this is what I'm going to write. Please put your pencils down and just listen for now. All right, I am going to write, and I'm going to pretend that I'm five or six years old, okay? So I'm going to say I, you're going to use two spaces and a capital I, finger space, then the word w, ill, I will, finger space, this is a tricky word. This is the word wear. Now, wear has a couple different meanings and they're spelled different. This wear is what will I wear? What will I put on my body? The other wear is where are we? And that's spelled different, and you'll learn about that. So here we go. I will wear. Now, I said two things. I said boots, and I said raincoat. I'm going to write the word boots. Let's stretch that word together. B, 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 good. Ooh. There's two letters that we put together that say b -u, and those are o, o, boo, t, 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 Let's check it. I will wear boot. Do we only wear one boot? I think our other foot would get wet if we only wore one boot, wouldn't it? So what do I have to put at the end? We've started learning this. I will wear boots with an S. You're right. Now, how would I end that sentence? I could end it with a period. Or if I was like super excited because I'm playing in the water and I'm having a great time with my brother and we're getting all wet, and then we're going to have to go in and get all cleaned up, right? I might put, what else could I put at the end if I was excited? What if I said, I will wear boots? Then what could we put? Exclamation point, right. So you can pick either one, a period or an exclamation mark. All right. So now I have a picture in my head. I know I'm going to be playing in a puddle. I know that my brother's going to be with me. And I know that I'm going to wear boots. And I'm also going to put on a raincoat because that'll kind of help you a little bit. So first thing I'm going to make, and I think you're going to want crayons or colored pencils for this, but you can draw it with pencil. I'm going to go ahead and draw it with my marker since I'm doing it on the whiteboard. First, I need a big puddle because my brother and I loved to play outside. Okay, so I'm going to make my big puddle and make it look like water. Okay. So what do you think the skies look like when... There's puddles on the ground. 
and it's raining. It's cloudy, isn't it? So, I don't have gray, but I'm going to kind of go like this and make it look super cloudy. Okay? Do you see any sunshine? No sunshine. But Mama would say, go out and play. You need to get some energy out. So we would go and play. But what am I missing in my picture? I'm missing people, aren't I? All right. So here we go. Does it matter if we're not an artist? Nope. We do our best, right? That's how we learn. Okay. So I'm going to make me first. And I'm going to be all the way in that water. Ooh. And I'm going to have my rain boots on. Hmm, I wonder what color they're going to be. And I'm going to have my coat on that's going to come about here. And what do you think I'm going to have on my face? I'm playing in the puddle. What do you think my face is going to look like? It's going to be happy, yeah, because I'm having fun. All right, so a big happy face, and I've always had that curly hair. So we'll put that curly hair. And let's see what color boots I'm going to have. I think I'm going to have, a, have red boots. There's lots of pretty color boots out now, aren't there? And I think I'm gonna have a red raincoat. And maybe it'll have some blue buttons. Okay, so there's me. I'm playing in the water, but who did I say was gonna be with me? my brother my brother's name is dave and since he was the only boy he and i played together a lot because i liked to play a lot of the same things that he did so now i'm gonna make my brother and he was taller than me i can't put him quite in the clouds can i but he was definitely taller than me he was older than me oh he's gonna have really long legs isn't he And I'm going to give him big boots. And I'm going to give him a raincoat. And oh my, he had a big smile on his face too because he loved to have fun. All right. Hmm. Wonder what color his boots are going to be. Well, I think I'm going to give him blue boots and a blue raincoat. I guess I should give him some arms and hands, right? Because if he's gonna like put his arms around and be, f and be having a good time cheering and having fun. All right, so let's see if my words match my picture, read it with me. I will wear boots. Let's see, did I wear boots? Yes. We were talking about a rainy day. Does my picture show a rainy day? Yes. And I'm having fun in that rainy day because I'm playing in puddles. So. Now it's your turn. You might pick boots. You might pick raincoat. You might pick an umbrella. But then your sentence is going to be different. If you pick an umbrella, you would say, I will use an umbrella. All right. So I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Remember, if you're at home, you need to upload 
your picture so that your teacher can see your drawing and your writing. You guys are becoming great writers and illustrators. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.